Welcome back. I'm super excited to give you another installment of our community contributed CAD series. If you're not familiar, we've been making this cool little print in place fidgety maker coin in different CAD packages. We've already done OpenSCAD, FreeCAD, OnShape, Fusion 360. There's a whole playlist I'll link down below. Today, another community member has volunteered to give us a tutorial in Rhino. Dr. Adrian Glasser is going to walk us through three different ways to make this exact coin in Rhino. Now, just a reminder, we are asking people, hey, if you want to contribute, send us a video or comment down below and talk to me about, we'll plan a video where you make this exact same maker coin with the exact same measurements and everything. Uh, all the measurements are in the first video with Fusion 360, and anyway, just comment down below. You can talk to me. We'll work it out if you want to make one of these videos. It's super awesome. Be sure to subscribe to Make Magazine so we can keep making awesome stuff like that. Without further ado, let's go to Dr. Adrian Glasser telling us three different ways to do this in Rhino 3D. This is Rhinoceros CAD software. I'm going to draw the Maker Coin in a slightly different way. Since we already know what we want, we're going to start by drawing the sections. And this is going to be the inner section. And then if we right click, we get the uh, line command again. And now we're going to draw the outer section. For the moment, we'll just join, draw them joined. We'll select that, and then we'll select just those points. And using the gumball, this is this tool, we can move that. But we're going to manually enter on the keyboard point 2, which is our tolerance and then it constrains it to 0.2. Now we're going to chamfer the corners. So if we select that object, go to the Curve tool, chamfer curves, and we'll select that and that. It's already set to 2 and 2. So we've cut off 2 millimeters and 2 millimeters. I right click to get that command back again, and I select the two curves that make up the other corner. Now we're going to select both of those. We're going to go to the surface because we want to create the surfaces now and we're going to revolve that around the central coordinate point. Actually it wants an axis so we give it an axis and then we tell it to accept the defaults which is 360 degrees. And then we want to draw our cutting circles. So we're going to draw the first one in manually, put it in the right place, type in four millimeters for the diameter. Then we're going to array that, and now we use the keyboard to type in the array polar command. It's already set to accept 24. So we'll generate 24 circles there. Now we'll select them all. And with the keyboard, we're going to make holes. So we type in make hole. And then it asks which surface we want to make the holes in. It's that one. So we select it. Press enter to go all the way through. And now, if we select our original profiles and the circles, the cutting circles, we can right-click and move them to another layer. And then we can select our coin and move that to a separate layer. And now if we turn that second layer off and the first layer on, our curves are still there, and we can turn the curves off and turn the coin on. 
and there we are. This is not parametric, but Rhino does allow code development in Rhino Python, which can be done parametrically. This is a Rhino Python script written for Rhinoceros CAD software. It's a parametric design. Any of the parameters can be changed during runtime. This is the entire script. I'm not going to go through it in detail, but you can pause the video to go through the script if you wish to. I'm going to run the script and accept the default parameters up here at the top left. And then the script runs, generates the coin, and it's doing a Boolean difference with a cylinder to create the outer profiles. I'm going to minimize the Python window, and there's our coin. If I hide the coin, you can see the profile that is used to generate that those two profiles are rotated around a vertical axis and then the coin is generated from that. We're going to recreate the maker coin in Rhino Python script for Rhinoceros CAD software. Just uncommenting these two lines and what they do is they suppress the display of the individual steps as it goes through. So we'll run the script now and we'll change some of these uh, default parameters. So let's make the full diameter 35 instead of 40. Let's make the inner diameter a little less, so we'll call that 12. Let's make the height 15. We're going to add a stubby full coin here. And let's set the tolerance to 0.5. And I press enter, and it's uh, doing its thing. And there it is. We'll minimize the Python window. And there's our stubby maker coin. I'm going to select those and hide them for a moment. And here are our profiles with a 0.5 tolerance. We'll put the coin back again, and there it is. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you learned something. Again, if you're wanting to contribute one of these videos, contact me, leave a message, or leave a comment down below, or something like that, and we'll talk about it. And uh, I guess that's it for this one. So until next time, be sure to subscribe to this channel. It helps us out a ton.